Yeah, so we got started out here because when I got to Milwaukee, was it 2019? Something like, I think I got here in 2019. <laughs> I needed a field site for prairie research. I literally just started Googling you know, prairie field sites. And the first one I found was the UWM field site. That's all marshes, so that doesn't work. And then this came up. And so then I emailed Teresa Schuler, who's the faculty member at UW Waukesha that runs it. And she was super excited. She's like, please come out here, do some research. And so we came out here, we met Marlon. That's where we met Marlon for the first time. And they've been really great about accommodating us and letting us do all the work we need to do out here. So what's your role out here? What do you, what do, you do? Okay, so um, this property is uh, owned by the University of Wisconsin now. It was a gift. And uh, I taught at the university in Waukesha for 30 years. Half of my duties were taking care, of, taking care of this place that is, you know, making it from something from cornfields to prairie. And some of the professors from Milwaukee came out and we walked around and uh, they said, this is great. And they were walking along the old railroad right of way and they said, uh, you know, there's prairie plants here and this would be a really good place for the university to have. So um, there wasn't much natural stuff on the, because it was a farm for 100 years. And uh, uh, so anyway, it was decided to take it. And that was, so we got it in 1967 is when she gave it to us. So right now we're kind of in construction mode where we're just getting the shelters up and making sure everything's in place. And then over the course of the season, we'll start taking photosynthesis measurements. Like we'll actually come out to the grasses and actually start measuring their photosynthetic rates. We'll start taking soil cores and measuring soil respiration rates and doing insect surveys. So the project started kind of with me and Kirsten Bay talking about, wouldn't it be nice to have a prairie on campus? And my only goal really was to help turn some of the green spaces in Marquette into something a little more functional, a little more pretty than just kind of a barren green space. So a key part of this project is to kind of provide a look or a small feel of what southeastern Wisconsin might have looked like before European colonization. And we think that's really important because Marquette is an urban campus. And so that means a lot of our students come from urban environments. A lot of them come from Milwaukee, they come from Chicago, they come from the suburbs surrounding it. And they've lost that sense of what Wisconsin used to look like. They kind of lost touch with nature. Like when you drive from here to Madison, you see forests and agricultural fields. That's not what it looked like prior to that. It was prairies from here to Waukesha, basically. And so this is to reinforce the change in Wisconsin habitats that has occurred through time. I really hope that the prairie becomes a central component of campus. I mean, it is going to be literally located in the middle of campus. And so I really hope that it becomes a resource for faculty teaching all over the, the curriculum. Everybody wants to get out there, not only use this as a resource for teaching, but as maybe an environment for meditation, for study. And so I really hope that the campus unites behind this as a way to have more natural interactions in our courses, to learn more about Wisconsin natural history, to learn more about ecology and evolution. And then really, I ultimately hope to kind of expand this. Maybe if this is a success and the campus really likes it, we can start to turn some of these other kind of useless green spaces nobody use into forests, into prairie gardens, and really set a model for Marquette to show urban universities that there's a way to rewild your campus and have your campus integrated with historical habitats, even if it's in the middle of the city. And I think that that's gonna be a really important message. Marquette could actually lead the country in if we do this right. And you can actually really smell the onion, almost garlicky scent of it. Oh yeah, I think we have some of this in our yard. Yeah, it's it's a really pretty little little you onion, can, you can eat that, and right? so you yeah. can eat it too. Uh, we won't, we don't want students to to make a whole salad out of it, but actually, um, not sure which one this is actually, but um, the intention with the trees and shrubs that we planted in here 
um, are that they are harvestable and that so we've got sand cherries, elderberries and um, oh I can't remember the other one service? off the top of it. Service berry, yes exactly. Thank you. <laughs> um, service berry. Um, so the idea is that you can actually harvest them and snack from campus's landscape. I mean what's better than that? Um, so today is our community planting day. Um, we're planting about 200 individual plants of over 30 different species of Southeast Wisconsin native plants, both grasses and wildflowers, we call forbs. And we've had, I've lost count of how many different faculty, staff, students, grad students, undergraduates have all stopped by and, and dug a hole or more than one um, and planted some plants. We've got about 75 individual plants planted on, on this site um, over here and then another 125 or so over on this side. It's been almost two years that we've been dreaming about this specific version of this idea, so we're so excited to see it. Let it, it takes like a whole around and tumble for like a week and then you dump it out. You know, I came in late, but I think we're making good progress. We're almost done now, so that's good. Um, yeah, it's definitely hard with the, with the concrete underneath here, but uh, I think, you know, we're working hard, so we'll get it done here soon. Take a bit. And the people that, that come up and, and have no idea, you know, so what are you doing here and, and asking, is Marquette actually making a commitment to this? And it's like, yeah, like they gave us the money to do this, which is to fund an innovative idea that will enhance Marquette's campus. And so that's what we're trying to do here is to bring a community together to teach about natural habitats and, and what, you know, like I said, like a time machine of, of what this place was like a long time ago and what a naturalized landscape can look like and how beneficial it can be for both understanding the ecology of the space but also just for having some peace in the middle of our urban campus. Thank you guys.